Hi everybody! So this is just an update video following up from the unboxing video. Um, we have decided on a name for the new mature male that we got, which is not a pure Brachypelma albopolosum. It's definitely a mixture, probably between a B albo and a B vagans. Now, if you have a close look at a close look at me here, you can see the dark the black and the grey markings on them and there isn't quite as much hairs on them and the hairs that are on them are very quite straight, they aren't curly whereas if you look at Aragog she is a golden sort of colour she's got a lot more hair, there's no black grey combination and she's quite hairy and curly so there we go, there's a wee difference. So, for this reason, we have decided to name our new spider, and this was Ryan's idea. The full title is Severus Snape, the Half-Blood Prince. Probably call him Snively for short. If anybody's read the Harry Potter books, they'll no, know what I'm talking I about. I said he should be called Severus because he's the Half-Blood Spider, but... I wouldn't call him the full title. I would only call him. Um, I'm calling him the full title. You outruled Albert. Severus. Obviously, for short purposes, we're going to call him Severus. But the full title is Severus Snape, the Half Blood Prince. He's a half blood spider, he's not a true albopolosum. So guys, what do I do? Do I breed? Do I attempt breeding with Aragog? Do I not attempt breeding? Is it potential that this guy could be lunch because they don't match each other? Should I attempt it anyway and be prepared to break them up if it should all go wrong? Or should I just not attempt it at all? And, um, because I thought the whole point of this was to keep the true Brachypelma albopolosums in the hobby. If I was to make babies with these two, if that does happen, if it did work out, then I can't sell them as true B elbows because you can see the total difference between the pair. And I don't want to make this guy a snack. Um, Aragog has a very fast feeding response. She's very feisty. Um, I don't know what to do. You can see the differences between the pair. This is a Brachypelma albopolosum hobby form, and I remember the importance of it when I read it in the British Tarantula Society journal. The breeding of such species and the importance to keep them in the hobby. Um, I don't know what to do. Obviously, Aragog's going to survive for a long number of years. Um, she's Obviously, they, they can live for a, a long, long time. So if this does go wrong, if I don't even pair them up and this mature male doesn't have long to go, then I could just try and get another one that's pure. Or I could attempt it and be prepared. I don't know. I need opinions. And as always, I trust my fellow subscribers who are so full of knowledge and more used to these things than I am. I've never bred before. So if you guys have this information to hand or if any advice for me, I really appreciate it. Alright, thanks for watching as always. Bye everybody.